This shot is my favorite shot of the day. I love that. What's up friends, I got a brand new video for you today and Oprah reached out and asked if they could sponsor a video for me to show you guys porch photography on the new Find N3 Flip. I've never used a flip phone before, but I've been having a lot of fun doing this and I'm stoked to see what we can get, so let's go. That's kind of fun. Let's do one looking into camera now. Three, two, one. Uh, put your hand back out like that, yeah. And then look down the alleyway. Can you look down it even more, like more profile? Yeah, that's nice. Cool. So like most of my phone videos, I try to use them on a real shoot to see what they can do. And today we're doing a fall lifestyle portrait shoot with Meg and I'm pretty stoked to see how the Find N3 Flip does because as far as I know, this is the first flip phone with a triple camera set up on the back. And briefly going over a few of these camera specs, it has a 50 megapixel f1.8 main camera, it has a 48 megapixel f2.2 ultra wide camera, and it also has a 32 megapixel f2 telephoto camera. And the fact that there's three high resolution sensors on this phone is really impressive. A few other specs is that it has 12 gigs of RAM, a 6 6.8 inch 120 hertz LTPO display with a peak brightness of 1600 nits and of course it has a front cover display that's 3.26 inches and it also has a 4300 milliamp hour battery. Do you want to do any with your back against the wall? That's nice. Uh, do that again while you're holding the jacket up. Love that. That looks sick. Seeing down the street. Uh, you can look head back into the wall again. Ooh, I kind of liked when you were slightly looking down. Yeah, I like that. It's nice. <laughs> the lighting is amazing. <laughs> Ooh, I like the looking off your shoulder. That was cool. Nice. Let's try. Wow. <laughs> I'm always so impressed after the shot gets taken. I'm like, whoa. The thing is like the way they're doing the HDR, they're not like trying to go like crazy with the shadows. They let the shadows be shadows. And I think that's what we like about this neutral image. I've been mainly sticking to the 2X camera and that's because it's around a 48 to 50 millimeter and I love this focal length for environmental portraits. It's just enough to have your subject pop out of the background but still see what's around them. Now, if it wasn't obvious by the branding on the front of the camera, Oppo's partnered with Hasselblad on this phone and what you're seeing is Hasselblad's tuned colors. But also, the Bokeh is mimicking two of their medium format lenses. So the 1X camera is mimicking the XCD 30mm and the 2X is mimicking the XCD 60mm. And so, as a test, I started out at f1.4 and then changed it to f4 and you can actually see legit changes in the Bokeh as if it was real aperture blades. And this is cool because this is how a real lens would look. Because of the unique design of this phone, you're able to use the best cameras on the back of the phone right beside the cover screen, which is going to let you take better videos and also better selfies compared to the regular selfie camera. The phone also ends up working like a tripod when it's unfolded halfway and they're calling that flex form. So you can set it down anywhere and adjust the angle. It also uses gestures, so if you want to step back from the phone to do a portrait mode shot of yourself, you can just wave at the phone and it'll take your photo. But something that's also unique about this design is that you can also use it half unfolded and shoot from the hip, which is awesome for street photography. One thing we really loved about this phone and the way that it processed the images is the color and the color is a little bit more neutral than your typical oversaturated phone shot and what's really awesome about this is that you can bring it into Lightroom, you can put presets on it and make adjustments and you can do a lot more with your images in editing afterwards. Yeah, let's see what the processing does with that neon light. Pretty dang good, honestly. Pull the exposure down. Okay, three, two, one, hold it. One more. Three, two, one, hold it. You got two neon lights. Uh, bring your right arm up just a bit, yep. Love it. Looking down towards camera now. Yes. Yo, these look sick. That looks cool. I have no idea how it's doing this. Like, how is it figuring out the depth between I actually don't know. How, I don't know how it knows how to do that scene, because you've got this bar, you've got 
that light and then you've got the one in the distance and you can see it gets more blurry in the distance. Does it? <laughs> it's pretty intelligent. Dang. That shot's, this, is, this shot is my favorite shot of the day. I love that. I love that. So once it got a little bit darker, we tried some lower light portraits. And from what I can tell, it actually isn't using a night mode type shot for portraits. But as long as your subject has some light on them, the phone is able to actually do a really great job. And I don't know what kind of computational magic is going on, but it does a really great job at balancing the image. As long as your subject doesn't move quickly, I was getting some awesome results. Overall, I'm really impressed with this phone and I've never really cared too much about flip phones because they don't usually compete with flagship level phones, but this is right up there with some of the best image processing I've seen in any Android phone. All right guys, that's the end of the video. I was really impressed with this three camera setup, especially with the Hasselblad color tones and their bokeh and stuff like that. It's doing a really great job, especially these last shots that we got with the backdrop here and the depth. It was, I was really impressed, but uh, yeah, thanks to Oppo for sponsoring this video. Thanks to Meg for modeling. Thanks to Milos. But that's it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you just like this video, give it a thumbs down twice. Don't forget to hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one.